Hello, this is Saranya. I'll be walking you through MCC config, uh, config replication WFA. So basically the problem here is when MCC acts as destination, all the configuration on it will be cleared in case of switchover and switchback events. Suppose uh, then the admin has to do uh, manually create all the relations. But, uh, if the number of relationships are very, uh, very large, then it is a very laborious process. So the solution is to create an automatic workflow which will periodically store the snap mirror and snap wall configuration and then replicate it on, uh, replicate it on the other side after switchover and switchback. So may, uh, uh, the WFA will acquire the data from UM and UM will be periodically acquiring the data from the clusters and we can do it manually also. Basically, the kind of relationships which are uh, replicated are DP, uh, sorry, snap mirror and snap fault, and the other mirrors, uh, load sharing mirrors are not considered. Uh, these are the attributes which are taken care of, which are mainly backed up by WFA uh, in collecting the information. So there are three parts in this workflow. First is snap mirror config replication after metro cluster switchover. So for this, First, we have to collect the latest data. Suppose if it is a negotiated switchover, we have to acquire the latest data from the clusters into UM, and then from UM to WFA. Then we will be uh, executing metro cluster switchovers, and then we will be executing this workflow in order to replicate uh, snap mirror configuration onto the side B. So what, is, what are the steps of this workflow? First, if at all a schedule is attached to a particular relation, then that is created, uh, and uh, suppose uh, there will be inbuilt schedules like five minutes, those will be present on site B also, so that kind of schedules will not be created. The user manual, if the user manually creates an explicit schedule with some other name, then that has to be created onto the other side. And then snap mirror policies and associated rules with it, uh, and snap mirror relationships. The final step would be snap mirror update. This snap mirror update is in order to take care of cache seeding. Suppose there are scheduled updates, then in order to have them run successfully in future, there should be at least one manual update. So this step will be taking care of that. So let me go and explain the workflow, demonstrate it. So these are metro cluster site A and site B. Now let's see the snap mirror relationships on site A. these are the snap mirror relationships. So I have to get this latest data into the UM now. So I'll be getting the latest data of site A. The data is getting acquired. So the data acquisition is complete. The latest data is now in UM. Now we go to WFA and acquire the latest data from UM. It's acquiring the uh, information. You can see the status is executing here. So the acquisition is complete from UM. Now what I have to do is I have to go and execute switchover. I'm executing a negotiated switchover now, and the job is in progress. During the execution of switchover, site A will come down automatically. You can have a look. Now switchover is about to complete. Now that the switchover is completed, I'm good to go. Uh, now, uh, now in order uh, for the UM to know that uh, the, uh, the system is in switchover state, we have to again collect information, latest information. So I'm doing it now. So 
So presently, it is acquiring the information. Once it, uh, it acquires, I'll be reflecting this onto WFA. So it's completed. I put this information into WFA. Now that the information is acquired, we are good to go and run the first part of the workflow. So, to create snap middle and snap for configure uh, protection after metal cluster switch over. User all, uh, has also uh, has the option of preview uh, to view the set of commands which are going to get executed. So these are the set of commands, creating a policy and a rule associated with it, and then the snapper relationship. So I, I'll go ahead now and execute. Now it is an execution phase. The first step is creation of policies, if still there, ever, there were any user created policies. So presently the policy is being created. Once it is created, this will turn to green. Now it's green. And now the rule is getting created. Okay, it got created. Now the relationships are getting created one by one. Now the relationships are also created. Finally, the execution is done. Now let's go and check on site B whether they have been created properly or not. So as we can see, whatever the state was there in site A, the same state is here. They have been replicated properly. So now we have completed the config replication after switch over. Uh, we'll be going to the config replication after switch back now. So for this, there are two steps to be taken, uh, two parts. First, whatever the configurations have been uh, created during the switch over, the user has the freedom to modify them and create new relationships associated with the transfer V server. So uh, now the information, snapshot configuration, everything is changed. So in order to replicate, the, uh, replicate it after switchback, I need to get the latest information on site B. So now I'll be acquiring the latest information from site B. So whatever the changes have been done to snap header configuration will be acquired now. So the latest information of uh, configuration on site B is acquired. Now I'll put it onto the WFA. WFA is acquiring the data. Now that it has acquired the data from site B, I'll be going and ex executing the <clears throat> second work, uh, second part of the workflow. So. Retain snap mirror and snap code configuration before switchback. So whatever the modifications are in the configuration on them in policy and new policies created, everything will be captured here. Now that the second part is completed, Third part. So we will be cons uh, we'll be creating snap mirror configuration, snap mirror and snap mode configuration after switchback. The execution order will be same as we did in metro uh, metro cluster switchover. It will be replayed in the same way. So now I'll be going to the console and executing switchback. Now that the switchback is successful, I have to go to UM and get the latest information. So this tells the UM that the site A is up and running now.
the information is completed, acquisition is completed. Now, I'll forward it on to WFA. So now that it is completed, I'm good to go and execute the third part of the workflow. We create snap middle and snap world production after switchback. So let's have a preview. So snap middle policies, associated rules, and snap rules. Mm -hmm. So now I'll go ahead and execute. So the execution is completed. I'll go to the control and check whether the relationships have been properly created or not. So the relationships are created properly. So this completes the workflow related to MCC.